Welcome back to my channel, Metal Language, and we're going to discuss ideal gas law. So let's start with the formula. The formula that we're going to use is PV is equal to nRT. The P stands for pressure. It's atmosphere. If you're going to solve it, it's atmosphere. Convert it. V is volume liters. If you're milliliters, you need to convert to liters. Ang N naman will represent the number of moles. At yung R natin, palagi siyang 0.0821 and with this unit. So that's why kaya kailangan naka-liters, ATM, at naka-Kelvin ang temperature. Para, kasi magka-cancel out sila mamaya. T will represent temperature, Kelvin. Kelvin din siya palagi. Another term for R, ito ay ideal gas constant. So, hindi ka magbab dito magbabago. 0.0821 siya lagi. Next one. Take note, we have many pressure units at standard pressure tayo. Pag sinabing standard pressure, it could be 1 ATM, 7R60 Tor, 7R60 mm Hg or millimeters of mercury, 101.3 kilopascal or kPa, and 14.7 PSI or pounds per square inch. So just in case na iba yung given na unit at hindi siya ATM, you may use this um, conversion unit naman. Also take note, temperature units. Temperature must be converted into Kelvin first for all gas law. So just in case ang binigay sa inyo ay Celsius, mag-add ka lang ng 273.15 para maging Kelvin siya. At kung Fahrenheit naman, then mag-add ka ng 459.67. At yung sagot niyan, multiply mo siya sa fraction of 5 over 9 para maging Kelvin na rin. Now, let's have the first example. What pressure is required to contain 0.023 moles of nitrogen gas in a 4.20 liter container at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius? So, um, pressure natin, hindi natin alam. So, that will be X. Volume, that will be 4.2 liters ang N natin, that will be 0.023 moles. At ang R, as is siya palagi, 0.0821 at itong unit na to. Liter times ATM over mole times Kelvin. At ang temperature, that will be 20 degrees Celsius. Ngayon, kailangan mo mo nang i-convert yung 20 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. So, mag-add ka lang ng 273.15. Magiging 293.15 Kelvin siya. So, dahil okay na, we have liters here and Kelvin here. At dahil hindi naman natin alam yung pressure, so X lang siya. Naginan natin yung formula, PV is equal to NRT. Okay, that will be X times 4.2. Color-coded naman siya, makikita nyo. 0.023 times mas sa 0.0821. At multiply mo siya sa 293.15. Dapat dito, sa Kelvin, hindi sa 20. Mamamali ka talaga pag uh, naka-base ka sa Celsius pa mag-resolve. So, simplify mo mo siya. Yung nasa kaliwa, that, that will be 4.2x. At yung sa kanan, multiply mo lang sila directly yung tatlo, and you will get an answer of this one. Hmm. 0.5535551.45 So, para makuha yung value ng x, divide both sides by 4.2. Pag ganito, wag muna kayo mag-around. So, itong 0.5535551.45, divide mo siya ng 4.2. Dapat dare-derecho. So, ang, ang nakalagay sa calculator, 0.131798 and so on. So, paano natin malalaman yung final answer? Ibibase natin siya sa least number of significant figures. Let's check. Ang 0.023, may dalawang significant figures yan. 20.0, that will be 3. 4.20, tatlo din. So, dahil dalawa ang least number of significant figures natin, magbilang na tayo. Simulan natin sa 1 kasi ating unang significant figure. 1, 3, 1, 2. Cut natin dahil 1, hindi tayo mag-round up. Round down lang. So, the final answer will be 0 0.13. Anong unit ang gagamitin natin? That will be atmosphere. Hmm. Atmosphere yung final answer. Just in case na pinatanong sa inyo na ang final answer ng pressure dapat ay PSI, then i-convert nyo na lang siya. Kasi dahil hindi naman nakalagay, laging ATM tayo. 0.13 ATM ang final answer. 
Moving on to example number two. Oxygen gas is collected at the pressure of 123 kPa in a container which has a volume of 10 liters. What temperature must be maintained on 0.500 moles of this gas in order to maintain this pressure? Express the temperature in degrees Celsius. So pressure natin, that will be 123 kPa. Uh, the volume, that will be 10 liters. Number of moles, that and that will be 0 0.500 moles. Uh, ang R natin, or yung ideal gas constant, that will be 0 0.0821. A temperature natin, hindi natin alam, that will be X. So, KPA, um, pressure natin, we need to convert it to ATM. So, let's check the conversion units. Ang 1 ATM daw, ay uh, equals sa 101.3 KPA. Gagamitin natin yan. Yung 123 KPA mo, may multiply mo siya sa 1 ATM, at uh, di-divide mo siya sa 101.3 KPA. Kasi mag-equal mag tong dalawa eh. Para ma-cancel yung KPA, so 123 times 1, divide mo ng 101.3. So, calc you ang sagot ito. So, kuha lang tayo ng tatlong significant figures, kahit pa paano. So, that will be 1.21 ATM. So, ito yung gagamitin natin, 1.21 atmosphere. Ngayon, dahil okay na tayo, ATM, liters, and Ayan, kasi hindi pa natin alam yung temperature. Nagin na natin yung formula. PV is equal to NRT. Substitute the values. We have 1.21 times mo ng 10. Color-coded naman siya, guys. So, this one 0 0.5 times mo ng 0 0.0821 at ng X. Simplify both sides. It will become, it will become 12.1 is equal to 0 0.04105 X. Ayun, divide both sides by 0 0.04105. Yeah, divide both sides lang yan. Para makuha yung value ng x. And that will be 294.762484 and so on. What will be the final answer? Let's check the number of significant figures. So 1.21, 3. 3 then. To, yes, 3. This is 3 also. 3 then. So, three significant figures. So, one, two, three, cut. Dial seven yen. Round up tayo. That will be 295 Kelvin. Ito na ba yung final answer? No. We have to convert it to Celsius. Kasi ang tanong dito, express the temperature in degrees Celsius. So, mag-minus ka lang dito ng 273.15. And sa calculator, nakalagay 21.85. Now, three significant figures. 1, 2, 3, cut, dial 5 siya, round up tayo. Ang final answer natin will become, will be 21.9 degrees Celsius. Let's move on to example number 3. If I have an unknown quantity of a gas at the pressure of 1.20 ATM, a volume of 31.0 liters and a temperature of 87 degrees Celsius, how many moles of gas do I have? So, pressure natin ay 1.20 ATM. V, ang volume is 31 liters. Ang N natin, that will be X. At ang R, ideal gas constant, that will be, that will be 0 0.0821. At yung unit niya. At temperature, that will be 87 degrees Celsius. So, ATM, correct, liters at Celsius. Oops, kailangan natin i-convert sa Kelvin mo na to. So, that will be 360.15 Kelvin. So that okay now, nagin na natin yung formula. PV is equal to NRT. Substitute the values and we have 1.2 times 1 and 31. Uh, yung sa kanya naman, that will be N. Color coded naman siya, guys. 0 0.0821. Multiply mo siya sa 360.15. Sa Kelvin dapat. Wag sa Celsius. So simplify both sides. 1.2 times 1 and 31. That will be 37.2. At uh, yung sa kanan naman, that will be 29.5683315N. Wala akong ni-round up siya. Round up or round down dyan. Kinuplete ko muna. Divide both sides by 29.568315 para makuha mo yung value ni N. 
So, n will become like this one sa calculator. So, paano mo nalaman kung ano final answer? Base natin sa significant figures. Ito, tatlo to. Okay, 31 liters. So, so nakalagay lang 31 kasi 31.0. So, tatlo din siya. Tatlo din to. I think I'll be in I lima. So, three significant figures. One, two, three, cut. Dial eight yan. You have to round up. That will be 1.26. So, the final answer is 1.26 moles. Let's move on to example number four. What volume of helium is occupied by 2.35 moles of helium at 25 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 0 0.980 atmosphere? Lagin natin yung given pressure is equal to 0 0.980 atm. Volume ni natin alam, so x muna. Again, that will be 2.35 moles. At ang R will be 0 0.0821. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, ang uh, temperature natin, that will be 25 degrees Celsius. Naka Celsius siya. So, kailangan natin 8 Kelvin. That will be 298.15 Kelvin. So, ATM, moles at Kelvin na tayo. Lagi natin yung formula. PV is equal to NRT. Uh, Lagi mo lang mga values. Color-coded po siya. 0 0.98 x is equal to 2.35 multiply mo sa 0 0.0821 at mo multiply din sa 298.15 hindi sa Celsius simplify natin siya so minultiply kayong tatlo ang sa calculator daw ay 57.5235725 divide both sides by 0 0.98 and x will become 58.6975 Check natin yung least number of significant figures. 0 0.980, may tatlo tayong significant figures. Ito. 2.35, tatlo din. Tatlo din to. Sa Kelvin tayo magbabase. So, lima. And, kung nagirapan kayo kung paano malaman kung ilan yung significant figure ng isang number at paano mag-round, mayroon akong video about that na sa description box. Nalagay ko na lang. So, moving on, dial 3 ang least number of significant figures. Bilangin na natin. So, 1, 2, 3, cut. At dial 9 yun, mag round up tayo. And the final answer will become 58.7 liters. So, check natin. 1, 2, 3. So, mag plus 1 ka lang dito. 58.7 liters. Let's go on to example number 5. How many moles of gas would you have if you had a volume of 38.0 liters under a pressure of 1,432 mmHg at standard temperature? Okay, so pressure natin ay 1,432 mmHg. Volume, that will be 38 liters. And that will be X, hindi natin alam. At yung R, 0 0.0821 siya. Uh, as is, hindi naman siya nagbabago. At... Uh, T, that will be standard temperature. Ang standard temperature, matik yan, 273.15 Kelvin siya. But, ang problem natin, naka MMHG to. So, we need to change it to ATM. Check natin yung conversion unit. Ang 1 ATM daw, ay 7R60 MMHG. So, lagay mo yung 1432 MMHG yan. Multiply mo siya sa 1 ATM. Divide mo siya sa 7R60 MMHG. Para makancel yung MMHG. And the answer will be 1.88 something. So, 1.88 na lang yung kukunin ko. So, going back. Uh, okay na tayo. ATM, liters, Kelvin. Nagay mo na yung formula. PV is equal to NRT. So, we have 1.88 here times 1 38 is equal to X times 0 0.0821, multiply to 273.15. So that will be 71.44 is equal to 22.425615x. Divide both sides by 20, 22, sorry, 22.425615 as is. And the answer will be 3.18564 and so on. Let's check the least number of significant figures. So ito, apat to. But hindi natin pwede gamitin yan. Kasi nag-ATM na tayo. So ATM, tatlo. Dito, tatlo din. 
that will be 5. So, 3 significant figures that we will use. So, let's count. 1, 2, 3. Cut. So, 5 is going to round up. Tayo. That will be 9. 3.90 moles ang final answer. And that's the end of the lesson on how to solve ideal gas law. Kung may comment or suggestion kayo or kung may assignment kayo or module na need yun ng tulong, just comment down below. I'll do my best to answer those questions. And again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. And also click the bell notification para bidin kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. Thank you and goodbye.